you've got your mortgage pre-approval, your offer on your dream home was just accepted, and you're on your way to settlement in the next 30 days. In your mind, you're ripping up the carpet and decorating your new house, and it makes sense to plan ahead, right? Well, keep dreaming, but don't put those plans into action just yet. Welcome back to Western Prince William Living. I'm Carol Allen, and I'm a realtor with the Platinum Group at Pearson Smith Realty. Over the past 15 years of selling real estate, I've really become accustomed to studying people and learning how their minds work. A lot of home buyers mistakenly think that once their mortgage loan's been pre-approved, they're all set and they don't need to worry about their credit anymore. I'm gonna tell you about some situations that I've had buyers put themselves in that could have derailed their transactions. Your lender is going to pull your credit again right before settlement, so don't make any of these similar mistakes. I had one client that was just a couple of days away from ordering hardwood floors for her new house. She was so excited, but she was planning to put them on a credit card, so I had to have her put a stop to that. Then I had another client that didn't disclose to me that he had gone out and he took advantage of 0% interest at a car dealership, but he didn't think about how that payment was going to affect his debt to income ratio. And then last summer, I had another client that sold a car and he made a large deposit into his bank account. Well, then he had to jump through some hoops and prove to the lender where that money came from. Keep these things in mind if you're getting ready to start a real estate transaction. First is you don't wanna make any changes to your bank accounts because your lender has to verify every deposit into and transfer out of your accounts. Next, don't open any new accounts or close any existing accounts because doing one of those things could affect your credit score. Keep in mind, no large purchases. While it might seem like a good idea to go out and start buying furniture on credit for your new house, it is not a good idea, trust me on that one. And then as far as large deposits, make sure if you have a large deposit to make, you talk to your lender first. Now here's why you wanna do that. A large deposit could be construed as a gift, and if it's a gift, there's a whole new set of rules, regulations, and documentation that your lender is gonna need. Now, if you're buying a house right now, and you think you may have done something that could have affected your credit score over the past couple of weeks, make sure you disclose that to your lender and your realtor right away. First, you're not gonna be able to hide it from your lender because when they pull credit again right before settlement, they're gonna discover what you've done. And second, make sure you're telling your realtor what's going on because your realtor's job is to protect you through the transaction. And if I don't know that you've done something or that you're planning to do something that could affect your credit, then I'm not gonna be able to protect you. If you're thinking about buying or selling a house this year and you know you need someone looking out for you, I would love it if you'd give me a call. I will promise you to have your best interest in mind and I'll even protect you from yourself if I have to. You can reach me at 703-297-1278 and don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Western Prince William Living with Carol Allen. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video.